Hi, greetings from Alhuvians. Hooving Queen here. Hope I'm having a good week so far. And yes, I'm in a new location. Yes, welcome to my apartment. Yay. So yeah, anyway. So now, our look at the 12th Talk Era continues on with The Woman Who Lived. Alone and on the trail of an alien artifact, the 12th Doctor interrupts a highwayman known as the Nightmare before carrying out highway robbery, carrying out highway robbery of Lucy, Lucy Fanshawe in 1651 England. The Doctor finds the artifact in the coach's luggage, but the vehicle drives off before he could take it. The Doctor finds that the robber is a shielder, the Viking girl he made immortal. Over 800 years of everlasting life, she has lost many of her memories and has isolated herself in order to avoid the pain of losing loved ones. The doctor knows that she has re renamed herself Me due to her loneliness. He also discovers that Me previously had three children, all of whom she lost to the Black Death. Me and the doctor steal the artifact from Lucy's house, fleeing by, fleeing, flee by climbing out of the chimney and escape an ambush by ri rival highwayman Sam Swift. The next morning, the doctor meets Me meets Mia's ally, Leandro, a leonine alien straight on Earth who uses the artifact to open portals into space. In return for me tricking the Doctor into helping him, Leandro has agreed to let her come travel with come with him to travel the galaxy. For the portal to be activated, the artifact requires another person's death. Two pikemen, unaware that Mia is the nightmare, are to announce that nightmares are reported to be in the area and Sam Swift is about to be hanged at Tyburn. Mia hands the Doctor over to them, claiming that he is the Nightmare's accomplice and sets off to use Swift's death to activate the artifact. The Doctor escapes the pikeman by freeing that Mee's treasury and pursues Mee to the hanging. Mee attaches the artifact to Swift's chest, killing him and opening a portal. Andrew then reveals that he really wants to assist his people in invading Earth. Spaceships begin to the crowd gathered to watch the hanging. Mee, rediscovering her consciousness, consciousness and humanity after seeing the crowd slaughtered, uses the second mayor medical chip given to her by the doctor saved Swift's life and closed the portal. Leandro's people kill him for his failure. Afterwards, May says that she will remain the doctor's friend and will look after those that the doctor leaves behind. Oh, that's kind of nice. So now let's take a look at some continuity surrounding this episode. The doctor informs me that the imminent Great Fire of London was caused by the Terraleptals, refer referring to the fifth doctor story, The Visitation. The Doctor states that he is on record as, as being against banter. This is a reference to Robot of Sherwood, where the Doctor chastises Robin Hood and his merry men for their lighthearted banter. The Doctor informs me that she may come across Captain Jack Harkness, given his life, like hers, is indefinitely extended. The Doctor already expresses dislike and avoidance of immortals in a conversation with Jack in Series 3's, in series three, series three's, series three's episode, Utopia. And now let's take a look at some outside references. The Doctor calls me Zora after the mass outlaw created by Johnston Macaulay, first appearing in 1919. And now finally, let's take a look at some cast notes. Stuart and Roger previously voiced, previously provided the voice for the face of Bo in, in three episodes between series two and three. Nice. So overall, this episode is kind of interesting, and while last week's episode was kind of sad, was kind of interesting, this one is a little bit more interesting, and yeah. And of course, we'll definitely be seeing more of Shielder, aka me, in future episodes, so yeah. So overall, I give The Woman Who Lived four Sonic Screwdrivers out of five. Well, anyway, hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, be sure to give a thumbs up, show it around, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified to be notified about my upload videos, and if you want to help support this channel further, then be sure to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in the description below. Anyway, until next time, this is Hooving Queen saying, Oh my giddy aunt! When I say run, run! I prefer the polarity of the neutron flow. Would you like a jelly baby? Fantastic! Allons-y! Geronimo! Bow ties are cool, fezzes are cool, and Stetsons are cool.